Watch this nice ball movement by Sparta to start the game as Chris McElvain buries a deep three-pointer to give the Spartans an early 3-2 lead over Vernon. But the Vikings take a 9-4 lead here as Dylan Morosis finds Dan Tintel from just inside the arc and Vernon goes up by five. Sparta makes it a two-point game here. Watch Zach Frick make the nice look to Nick DeSoma as the big guy powers up for two and Sparta trails 11-9. But watch Dan Tintel with a good defense here as he makes the steal and takes it all the way. And Vernon goes up 16-9 with under a minute to go in the first quarter. All right, second quarter we go. And watch Travis Eustace hit this running one-hander in the lane for the Vikes to push Vernon's lead to 20-10 early in the period. Now watch Vernon turn its defense into offense as Dan Tintel caps the run out here with this layup. And Vernon leads by 12, 24-12. Sparta looks to cut into the deficit, and the Spartans do as Will Smith makes this great pass to Nick DeSoma for the bucket and the foul, and Sparta trails 24-14. But Dan Tintel has a quick answer for the Vikings as he spots up and drains the tray here as Vernon pushes its lead to 29-14. And the Vikings take a 33-16 lead at the half with this nice putback by Travis Eustace, and Vernon is in complete control of this one. All right, third quarter we go, and Vernon picks up where it left off in the first half. Watch Rhett Morosis hole in this nice pass from Ethan Valinonis, and Vernon goes up 35-16. Now you know Sparta's not going to go away, folks, and the Spartans go on a 6-2 run here as Zach Frick makes his pretty move to the basket, and Sparta trails 35-22. But Vernon maintains its big lead here as Dylan Morosis drills this three-pointer for the Vikings as they go up 43-27 late in the third quarter and hold a 45-27 lead after three. Okay, fourth quarter we go, and Zach Frick of Sparta makes a nice steal here, and he takes it in for the easy deuce, and Sparta trails Vernon 45-29. Now watch Nick DeSoma make the steal here, and he finds Colin Ranson to cap out the breakout, and Sparta now is down by 10, 47-37 after a 10-2 run. Then watch Sparta do it again with its defense as Chris McElvain grabs the loose ball and finds Ransom for the bucket, and it's an 8-point game as Vernon holds a 47-39 lead. Here come the Spartans, folks. And Sparta keeps rolling here. Watch Chris McElvain make the steal and get the hoop and the harm. And Sparta trails by 5, 49-44. Oh, boy, what a run. And Sparta caps the great comeback here. Watch Will Smith make the steal. And Jake Melville shows great body control as he scores and is fouled. And his free throw gives Sparta a 51-50 lead. What a comeback. But Vernon has an answer here. Watch Travis Eustace kick it out to Brett Morosis. He hits the jumper as Vernon takes a 52-51 lead with less than a minute remaining. And the Vikings hold on for that win, 52-51, for a big American division victory at Sparta High School. It's real good to beat uh, both Sparta teams. They're both real good teams, and uh, it was good to come out with a victory in both of them. It feels great. Uh, today was close, uh, but it feels real good. They're like our two top rivals, and beating them's a, a big, so... Feels good. It's always a good feeling beating a, a cross-town rival. Um, it was just a great team win for on all levels. I mean, uh, our defense was exceptional, and then, I mean, we, we got off track a bit, a bit in the fourth quarter. But I mean, we brought it back and we were able to win. It's a great win on the road, you know, against the quality Sparta team, and um, you know, it's always nice to it's always nice to come out on top on the road, you know, especially against a nice ball club like Sparta. Got a little hairy there at the end. Sparta had a lot of points in there in the fourth quarter. Uh, did you guys ever have any? Did you ever have any doubt? Um, a little bit once they uh, started just turnover, score, turnover, layup a little bit. But then we had to get back on track and uh, focus more and make better passes. Uh, how about for the rest of the year? How can this win, this one, and the Pope John win? How can it uh, momentum for the rest of the year? Well, it gives us confidence and momentum, and we're just gonna keep fighting, keep playing. Feel like feel on top of the world. Beat anybody? I don't know. We, we've de definitely taken that day by day approach. Uh, today we played three solid quarters, and then the fourth quarter, you know, obviously they showed tremendous resolve coming back. We got to just you know iron out the wrinkles tomorrow in practice to make sure, like you know, that, like if we get a lead, we maintain it and go from there. So you know, it, it's it's great, but there's things to bring back to practice day by day because it's a long season, and like I mentioned earlier, there's there's going to be eight teams in our conference that have something to say about the division title. How does this win feel for the rest of the year? How big is this? Oh, it's a, no question about it, a big win. And, um, you know, we, 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 we take a lot from that coming out of here. And at the same token, they did a nice job exposing some of the things we have to work on in practice. So it's a double-edged sword. But you know what? Like we said in the beginning of the year, it's going to be a day-to-day -day thing. You know, tomorrow's practice. Get ready for Morris Hills on Thursday.